Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today our question comes from Terrence. Two Echo Zero, one, or uh, uh, that'd be India Papa Kilo. Two Echo Zero, India Papa Kilo. So he's from the British Isles. Um, and he has a very simple question. What makes a 49 to 1 un un? And what does a 49 to 1 actually mean? Okay, the 49 to 1 is the impedance ratio. You go in at 50 ohms. And you come out unbalanced and I think it's 2450 ohms. Let's find out. I'll draw a picture of it here. These are usually done on a single core. So we'll represent this as a toroid. So from your uh, radio, you have coax. And you have a center conductor. Okay, the shield ground is connected to the bottom of the windings. Usually this winding is about two windings, and then it comes up to the middle. Now this number of windings continues up here until you have 14 windings. And then it goes out like that. Now, since it's an un, -un it goes out like that. And this side is grounded. It goes right through and is grounded by that. Okay. So 14 to 2. So the turns ratio is 14 to 2 equals 7. So this multiplies the voltage by 7. Uh, so you take the, let's uh, do the resistance, E equals IR, equals IR, okay. So um, R equals, you pull this to the other side, it'd be E over I, okay. Now, we know in a transformer that the voltage ratio, the voltage out, and the voltage in, yeah, um, is the turns ratio. So it's 14 or over two equals seven. So the voltage ratio is seven. We also know in a transformer that the current ratio is the inverse of the turns ratio. So the current out equals 2 over 14 equals 1 over 7, okay? So now let's plug these into this right here. R equals th this voltage, we'll just say 7, over 1 seventh, which can be written as 7 times 7, and those are sevens. 7 times 7 equals 49. So that's R, or in our nomenclature here, Z. So if the Z over here is 50 ohms, the Z over here is 49 um, times 50, which is 2450 ohms, so very high impedance. Now what's that used for? If we look at an antenna, this is dipole antenna. This is a half wave. One half lambda, which is our, wa our wavelength. Okay, and the impedance in the middle is close to zero. Normally when we break this to feed it, we get anywhere from 30 ohms to 70 ohms and at common amateur heights it's about 50 ohms okay so that's where you'd feed it in the middle but the current in the thing this is rf current goes down to zero at the ends it has to be zero at the ends there's no more place for the current to go so the voltage is high at the ends here 
So the impedance at any given point is the voltage divided by the current equals the impedance. I'll just put in parentheses R here. Impedance is complex. Now note this is high voltage, low current, and the impedance here therefore is actually infinity. In theory, in practice it's about 2500 ohms. Okay, give or take you know, Z at the end is somewhere in there. Same at the other end, here at 30 to 50. So if we're gonna end feed a dipole here, we need to feed it with a very high impedance source, like a 2450 ohm of the uh, 49 to one balance. So you got 50 coming into here, Here's your, it's actually a seven to one turns ratio. At RF, we usually do two to 14, but it's a, uh, uh, so that would be a 49 to one um, anon. And it will have an output that's very high impedance and another output that's ground. Okay, and that goes to there. And that's how you feed and feed a dipole. Now, this is quite a common way of doing things. I just want to mention one more thing. I showed the uh, diagram two turns there. It's actually an auto transformer. And so you go on for another five turns here to get a turns ratio of seven to one. This is two, so if it goes on for 10 more, it'd be, you know, 12 more, you'd have a ratio of seven to one in the turns. Note that this is also connected at the bottom, is ground on both sides. So this is unbalanced to unbalanced, hence the term un-un, okay? And this is the way we feed end feed a dipole. This is a much more convenient way of feeding dipoles than trying to do it in the center. Uh, in the center you've got a coax hanging down and that is traditionally the way we've done it. There was a company that came along called My Antennas and they sold the idea of an end fed dipole and it was very hard for a lot of people to accept and the league when it got one to review didn't believe it either but they tested the antenna and lo and behold, it worked. So uh, what we have, I, I got one. I got a, my antennas, we gave it away. It was giveaway number two. Um, that antenna worked beautifully. So yes, you can feed a dipole anywhere. Okay, in fact, a dipole is a half wavelength of wire, okay? Stretched out in a line. That's a dipole. Now, how you feed it modifies it. If you say dipole without modifying it, usually it's fed in the middle. Or you can say off-center fed dipole or an end fed dipole. The reference station antenna, the MFJ2010, is an off-center fed dipole that works on two bands. The end fed dipoles with the 49 to 1 um, 49 to 1 ballon, un -un, sorry, un -un, uh, is also uh, one that can cover a lot of uh, different bands if the thing is made exactly the right. And they usually add just a little bit of uh, lump inductance uh, where they need to. So there you have it. And until we next meet, 73.